In this video, we'll review the ESP LXD controller's automatic short finding mode. We're going to start by taking a look at the status indicators. You'll notice there's a problem because the alarm light is illuminated. In the auto dial position, press the alarm button to see why the controller indicates an alarm. In this case, we have a short finding mode alarm. The controller has automatically entered a short finding mode to protect itself against a short on the two wire path. We can identify exactly what the problem is by turning the dial to test all stations slash check system and use the down arrow to select two wire diagnostics. Press next, then select line survey and press next again. We'll see three indicators on the bottom of the screen. Temperature reads OK, current reads not OK, and overload reads not OK. This means we probably have a dead short on the two wire path conductors that has shorted the wiring. A temperature status of not OK is caused by high amperage draw, causing heat buildup in the decoder module. A current status of not OK means we have excessive current it's getting close to an overload condition, but it's not there yet. An overload status of not OK means we've actually gone over the threshold and the controller has gone into short finding mode to protect itself. Opening up the front panel, we see the two wire decoder module. Now there are two indicator lights. The upper left indicator is green, which means we have power to the module and the front panel and the module are communicating with one another. The lower indicator LED is dark right now, indicating that the controller has put the module into short finding mode due to a short. To determine which leg the short is on, we can remove one of the legs and see whether the light comes back on. In this case, wire path two isn't the problem, so I can reconnect it and remove a leg on wire path one. The light comes back on, so we've determined that the problem is on wire path one. If I reconnect the wire, you can see that the indicator light turns off. When I break that two wire path again, the problem goes away and the indicator light turns back on. Now that you have identified which wire path has a short, the next step is to examine the wire path and fix the short. Refer to the video ESP LXD Troubleshooting Locating a Short on the Two-Wire Path for additional information. Be sure to visit rainbird.com slash ESP LX series for product manuals and FAQs. You can also call us for free professional support for programming and troubleshooting.